This is question three. College Board is asking us to find the linear equation that fits this table of data. And we don't have a calculator, so we can't use the linear regression op option on a graphing calculator, but we, it turns out we don't need them. Let's plug in x equals 10, because that's an easy number to work with. At x equals 10, choice C is more than $33, and choice D is also more than $33, but 10 should only be $21. So choices C and D are wrong. The question is, is it A or B? At x equals 10, choice A is $9.90, but it's supposed to be $21.89. So that's wrong. So the correct answer has to be B, but let's actually check it, because we'll feel better about that. So F of 10 equals 0.99 times 10 plus 11.99. 0.99 times 10 is 9.90. Adding, we get 21.89, which is the correct answer. I could put in other values, but having ruled out the other three choices plus matching one point is sufficient to make me comfortable with that. When you're trying to find the correct answer, you do not have to calculate the slope. If you want to do this algebraically, you could, but it may not be the best use of your time. I could find the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It doesn't matter which values you, you call x1 and x2, as long as you keep them in the same order. The y values are the f of x values, the shipping charges. So let's go between 10 and 20, because that gives me a nice denominator. 20 minus 10, and my numerator is going to be 3179 minus 2189. And I'm going to set that up neatly so I don't mess it up. Nine minus nine is zero. Seventeen minus eight is nine. So my numerator is nine ninety. My denominator is ten. So my slope is ninety nine cents per pound, which is choices A or B. At that point, I can substitute in any point and solve for the y-intercept if I wanted to write the equation from scratch, which is what you might do if this were a grid in. So let's do that. y minus your y value 10 equals the slope 0.99 times x, no, try that again, y minus the y value, which is 21.89 equals the slope m, which is 99 cents, we found that, times x minus the x value 10. So y minus 21.89 equals 0.99x minus 10 times 0.99 is 9.90. Add 21.89 to both sides. And nine, negative 990 plus 21.89 will give me my y-intercept. And I don't have a good space to squeeze that in. So let's put that, erase this, and work there. 21. 89 minus 990 gives you 9, 9, 11.99 for the y-intercept. So my equation is f of x equals mx plus b is 0.99x plus 11.99, which is choice b. But that was much harder than it needed to be. Remember, you're just trying to find the right answer, and it's one of four choices. You're not trying to find the equation from scratch. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.